Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we did quite a few things. We started talking to that one monk after all, but more importantly, we listened to Junpei's Believe It or Don't, his fun little ghost story show where he talks all about, um, where he told us about a rumor that he had heard about ghosts and girls at school going missing, and we're going to go ahead and investigate that for the next week. Uh, first of all, though, uh, before we get into talking to everyone and learning more about the spooky rumors going on at school, quick thing I do want to mention, today in game is June 1st, and that is the birthday of Risei Kujikawa from Persona 4. Uh, at this point, in 2009, she'd be 14, so yeah, happy birthday to her. Once again, she's a character from Persona 4, meaning that she won't have a thing appear on TV with Trish's Who's Who, because... You know, her cast never met Trish, and Persona 4 obviously didn't come out before Persona 3. So, Sorry. we're just gonna continue on business as usual. Trying to find stuff online about that ghost story. It seems like it could take a while, though, so I'm not gonna be go to Tartarus today. Sorry. So yeah, the game is giving us a lot of excuses as to why we can't go to Tartarus. Hmm, this isn't good. We're getting a lot of inquiries from parents and reporters alike. Takeba seems pretty serious. Well, it's good to be that invested in things. If you're free, how about land lending her a hand? Yeah, I do like that Takaba is really scared of ghosts. Let's see. If Takaba won't go to Tartarus tonight, perhaps it would be better to just go when everyone can join us. Though I have to admit, I'm a bit curious about these supposed hauntings. No social links at Polonia Mall, not like we could really go through one anyway at the moment, so we're just gonna go ahead and work at Chagall. It'll help us with the two stats that I'm gunning for the most at the moment. And, uh, you know, it'll give us a bit bit of money, which we spent a lot of last episode. Nothing up quite yet, but it's to be expected. Good evening. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? Get out of <laughs> I do get out of here is the funny option, but I don't want to be rude to him. One thing I've seen a lot from people playing this game is a lot of people like straight up hate this kid. Just like, ugh, get out of here, freaking hate you. I don't hate this kid. Sure, he's like a bit creepy, but I don't know. It's you. I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time. See, he's really helpful. He lets us know when the next big thing is popping up. June 8th is going to be our next big thing, so... Morning. Let's get prepared. Morning. I'm just going to do my best from today onwards. Good luck. Hey, listen. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Well, whatever. I've got to look into everything there is about the ghost story. Remember, we'll share our findings on Friday. Could you also try gathering information too, Yuki-kun? Like, maybe you could talk to some students after school. Sure. I'll look around, see what see who we can talk to. Uh, this phrase, Mono Susa Magiku, also appears in Ugetsu Monogatari. Of all the Ugetsu tales, I'm most fond of the one of the vengeful ghost wife. Such an eerie yet poignant story. Speaking of which, I've got a pretty good ghost story of my own. Care to hear it? So, you'll, you've probably noticed a pattern with teachers. It's that they'll probably be talking about whatever is, like, relevant at the moment. Like, you know, we're hearing about a ghost story from Junpei. So, uh, the teacher starts talking about a ghost story. This is going to be a running theme throughout the entire game. Where if a major plot point happens, you can be... You can be 100% assured that there's going to be a teacher talking about a similar thing. Then, my friend, the one who came with me to the tunnel, suddenly screamed, There's a girl right behind you! We ran back home, scared out of our wits, but not long after that I started hearing the strangest thumping noises coming from inside the wall. The faintest voice croaking, Let me out. Let me out. As far as I knew, the room had always been vacant. Who's in my wall? So one night I decided to go right up to the wall where the sound, uh, sounds came from and knock on it. <laughs> All of a sudden, right in my ear, I hear this girl's voice, loud and clear. I'm here! And that's when the youngest member of my family came from. 
She grew up to be just like any ordinary human, though. Nowadays, I only lie awake in fear that she'll be she'll run off and marry this loser she's been seeing. Oops, there's a spell. Okay, class, that's all for today. I'll be honest, I spaced out while I was reading that. I have no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> that, was, that was always the best, though, whenever uh, teachers would, you know, take some time out of class just to tell you stories about their childhood. One, because, you know, it gave you a break from class to just relax and not really do anything. But second of all, because... You know, it's fun to hear these stories and just learn about these people who, you know, teachers are, like, in the mind of a kid, like, these sort of authority figures. And so to, like, you know, hear about them just being normal human beings, it's kind of relaxing in a way, I guess. Hey. Did you find out anything about the ghost story? I'm going to prove to everyone it was just a rumor. And I'm not scared at all, right? There are there is some people we could talk to, like this girl who has never been here before. I heard Yamagishi-san fainted again, and she's taking days off from school. I wonder if she's okay. She doesn't look very strong. Did you hear? I haven't. Kirijo senpai would want a man who likes to study. Maybe I should study more. If I became the smartest in my class, she might accept me even though I'm a girl. They said a girl in class 2C fainted too, and I hear it's apathy syndrome again. I wonder if it's contagious. I already told you, she just happened to faint in front of the gate. Apathy syndrome is so over-exaggerated, they'll get better if, if you give it some time. You. I don't talk to you all that much because you're just kind of out of the way over here. Everyone's talking about the ghosts and that kind of stuff. I hate those kind of stories. Like how they say the ghosts will get you if you stay at school too long. Um, I better get going. See ya. <laughs> I never expected anything like this to happen to someone from the school. Okay, that doesn't help. We have Otagiri over here. Ah, uh, Yuki-kun. I'm still in the middle of my investigation. Let me know if you find anything. Oh, he's investigating the cigarette butt incident. So we kind of have two investigations going on. The more plot important one and the side one that Odagiri is doing. My sister goes here too. It's a good thing she's not the kind of girl who stays out all night. Ooh, there's a social link over here in the home economics room. Look, I'll get to that in just a second. Damn, she's so persistent. She must have some kind of iron will to follow me around this much. She'd make a great detective. So yeah, uh, these guys are a... Uh, these two are a running plot point, uh, this little side plot point, where this guy is constantly being followed around by this girl who has a huge crush on him. Did you see that? He just threw a rock at a bird resting on that branch. If he keeps that up, he might get possessed by evil spirits, but that's just a rumor, so probably not. That persimmon tree is going to be cut down. What a waste. I so wanted to try its fruit. So we've learned pretty much nothing from this, but we still have a week left until we uh, have to... Uh, report our findings, so... So yeah, we have the fashion club over here, uh, that we could go ahead and join. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday. thankfully today's a Tuesday, since we have the right academics, we can translate the, uh, message on here. Let's check it out! Yata! Yes! This is my finest sewing work yet! The foreign exchange student I met at the bookstore is busy sewing. I should say hi. Oh, bonjour. I haven't seen you since the bookstore. You came. What a pleasant surprise. I am so happy to see you. What are you doing? I am training in the art of sewing. I am in this fashion club in order to own my sewing craft. Would you like to join me? It is Tenoshi. Very fun. If I may be so bold, would you sign up for my club? Sure, I'll join. Hondo? Really? Kataji Kunai. Many thanks. I am thrilled to have a new member. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But it may be closed when we have exams. I have not made any good Tomodachi uh, friends, so it is very sabishi, very lonely. Maybe it is because I do not fit in. But now you are here! The Divine Fates have brought us together! I ended up joining the fashion club. I've gotten to know Bebe, the foreign exchange student. So yeah, he's one of our social links that can only be unlocked uh, once you rank up the old couple at the bookstore a little bit, and then once you get the right academics and all this other stuff, then you'll be able to go ahead and become friends with him. 
Bebe is actually the only social link that I have never finished. In my original play, in my first playthrough of Persona 3 Reload, I was able to max out every single other, other social link except for Bebe, uh, who was at like rank 2 or something like that. So I'll go ahead and rank him up a bit more during this playthrough just so I can not only see some new stuff, but just so we have more variety here. Look at the time! Well then, au revoir! Oh, that's right. I was wondering, what is the best way to say bye to a friend? As in, what is the most culturally accepted? Alright, so our options here are just a simple see you later, a cool and chummy peace out, a stately until we meet again, a theatrical intense I'll be back. Peace out. I understand perfectly. Peace out! I parted ways with Bebe and went back to the dorm. I believe he will use that now as like a... Whenever he has to leave or something like that, so... Welcome back! Sup, dude? They wanna go to Tartarus later? Apathy syndrome has been on the rise or something, right? There are all these weird rumors going around school, so I just feel antsy doing nothing. So why don't we beat up a crap ton of shadows, you know, as a stress reliever? Uh, what did I get myself into? Actually, I didn't get myself into anything. This is all Junpei's fault. Stupid and his stupid believe it or don't. Gah! Oh, no, no. I thought all those stories were fake. But she seems to be doing actual research on them. Is this the power of Junpei's believe it or don't? What? what you got a problem? Yikes, she seriously pissed, man. It is difficult for me to believe that the incident was caused by ghosts. However, we are currently at a lack of a more logical explanation. So it may be worth looking into. Please let me know if you come across any useful information. Yo. Well, good luck. Whatever the reality is, it definitely sounds that it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to the results. Uh, a fun little fact about our protagonist is that he is, uh, out of the entire Persona series, the shortest protagonist, standing at about five foot seven. Um, which is funny because you'll remember how I was making comparisons between this game and uh, Spike Chunsoft games like uh, Zero Escape and Danganronpa. The main character, the Makoto, who is a main character from Danganronpa, is also the shortest protagonist from his series because he's five foot three inches, and I believe in a later game he gets even shorter at five foot two inches. So yet another coincidence that uh, I noticed because I'm weird and I play games like these. Sup, dude? Hey, you looking into the ghost story? Like, are you asking around about it? Of course. Really? Shouldn't we just let Yukatan handle it? I think she's taking this way too seriously, dude. I guess she could be pretty stubborn. I got better things to do. Besides, I have plenty of scary stories up to my sleeve. Up my sleeve. I bet the story I told the other night made your hair stand on end. They say it's true, though. All right, so we have a lot of social links here. Let's see who do we have. So. Yuko, Bebe, and Odagiri are all able to be leveled up, so I'll probably hang out with Yuko. Of course, as always, I'll look around the school a bit uh, to try to find more clues, but then we'll hang out with Yuko in just a sec. Uh... Well, I guess we should do some digging. I wonder what people will say. It's a ghost story, after all. Hamagishi's absent today, too. Hmm. You know the ghost stories about the... About the school are kind of popular right now. I'm not too good with that stuff, so no talking about it, okay? It's not that scary. It was just like if you're late, if the last one left in the school building, cause you hear a, you'll hear a creepy PA announcement. Sobbing old lady's voice comes on the speakers. If you don't leave the school within 42 seconds, they'll find your corpse covered in bright red, bright red, bright red blood. That's all. Can't okay, understand why people are freaking out over those ghost stories. I mean, rumors around the schools, but uh, they just need to grow up. All right. None of these people are being real helpful right now. Uh, nobody really has anything for us. Do you have anything? Girl who collapsed in my class. I heard she would run away from home and stay out all night. Maybe she got caught up in something bad. Does the lunch lady have anything for us or school store vendor? Oh dear. Here the one of the stu students fainted. Is she all right? Hmm. There's a lot of weird stuff going on out there. You should watch out too. One of the students who collapsed was in my sister's class. I guess she was running away from home as well. I heard she always hung around those thugs at that one place. Something must have happened there. I thought I could turn up some info, but I didn't find anything at all. All three passed out, but they were in different classes, different clubs too. So my investigation isn't going well, probably because all their friends were those thugs. I obviously don't want to deal with them. 
So the people who passed out weren't in the same classes or clubs, so they must have some other connection. Forgot to check outside the school gates last time. Waiting for my boyfriend, I'm scared about all the stuff that's been happening lately, so he's going to walk me home. I heard those ghost stories that were being spread on the school on the internet. You know, the ones about those students who died became ghosts and then ate humans. Wait, how would they, anybody know they ate humans? There wouldn't be any remains. Alright, we kind of talked to everyone we can, so let's hang out with Yuko. How's it going? You remember how I agreed to coach those kids for their race? I, I know they've been waiting for me, but do you have time to tag along? I don't know if I can do it alone, I'd love some of your advice. Hey, how have you, have you been? Those kids have been really getting on my case about this whole coaching thing. The track's open since there's no practice today, so I'm just wondering if I should do it. Okay, great. I'm going to ask the teacher for permission to use the track then. I'll see you at the field. Counting on you, coach. Straighten your back. And don't forget to swing your arms. Coach! Guess what? Guess what? I beat Yuki-chan! I swung my arms really hard, just like you said. Wow, seriously? That's amazing! Okay, next time, I want you to try running with your toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Got it, coach! Phew. I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? The best option here is, it's because you teach so well. Oh, I don't know about that. But hearing you say so, does make me feel like I can do anything. Ah, oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh! Okay, one more round. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. It's your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Hmm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. The best option here is to say, I trust whatever you decide, Yuko. Oh, you know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Wendy, coach, you're on fire. What did you just call me? All right, those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. okay. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming-of-age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Yuko is starting to trust me more. I feel like our relationship has grown. Oh, by the way... The kids seem like they want to run with you. Do you think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. I practiced with the children until the sun went down. Oh, you're back. It's very funny how one of the kids there was named Yuki because our protagonist is also named Yuki. Thankfully, it's not a he's not a major character, so we don't have two Yukis constantly running around in the same game. I mean, having two Makotos is cool because they're in separate games, separate contexts, and it's a lot easier to tell who you're talking about. Um, and you don't have to actively make that distinction when you're like me and you're commentating over a Let's Play. 
The level of gossip at school is getting pretty out of hand. Today there were three girls going on and on about a certain rumor. I really hope this gets taken care of sooner rather than later. Hey, hey did you hear- did you- did you do any research on that ghost story, you cocoon? I sure did. I have not found a single thing. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, but man, there are a bunch of different stories floating around. I can't tell which are real and which are fake. Maybe they're all fake. I haven't heard of any stories floating around. I've found nothing. <laughs> Dude, there are rumors all over school. Don't people have anything better to talk about? Now, how are we supposed to figure out what's true or not? It's hopeless. Maybe I'm just not talking to the right people. Maybe there are people outside of school. But if I remember correctly, we were specifically told to talk talk to people inside the school, so that'd be weird. Still no level ups, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. This sucks. I spent so much time thinking about ghost stories that now I'm having nightmares. Uh, don't push yourself. Mm. Don't worry, I'm fine. Th there are just so many stupid rumors going around that it's tough to trying to make sense of the whole thing. I did get some useful info though, so I plan on digging even deeper today. Try to remember what you find out at school, okay Yuki-kun? Alright, maybe this time we'll actually find some useful rumors around school. Okay, I've never actually, like, gone around investigating and stuff like that, so... Because usually I just wait for the thing to happen and then I just look up the answers on the internet But I thought you know since we're doing a let's play since this is you know me showing off all the different aspects of this game That I actually go around and try to search for things. There's just nothing here Like I don't know Like if I should be looking somewhere that I'm not or if I'm just missing something here, but I'm not finding anything it's Fushimi. Hello, Yuki-san. Are you available to meet me today? That one was actually short and sweet. Oh, Yuki-san. Did you make any plans today? Um, if you aren't busy, I was hoping that maybe we could walk home together. Oh, thank you so much. Th th then, how about we have a chat at the cafe today? <sighs> is it just me, or is the air conditioning in here too high? I feel a little lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? I'm going to go get some medicine. I'll be right back. Oh, hey there! Are you on your way home from school? Huh? Oh, what do you want? Wow, you're really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. Say, you want to maybe sit down at a cafe and chat a little? Um, I... Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not going to bite. No, please stop. Uh, senpai. Get lost. Huh? Who the hell are you? Wait, don't tell me that you're with her. <laughs> well, I thought I had a chance since you look so plain. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to hit him for a second. I wouldn't want you to get into a fight because of me. But just now, you are so... Um... Uh, you've already saved me, so I'm not scared anymore. But why am I still shaking? best option here is to say, I'm here for you. That does make me feel a lot better. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm fine now. I can sense Chihiro trusts me. I feel like our relationship has grown. hurried away. I decided to return to the dorm. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Maybe I should go check on them. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and have to check on them tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue our investigation. Maybe something will actually happen next time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.